This is a vintage pendant and necklace. It's gold plated. It's a uh, 12 karat yellow gold. I think it was marked one over 20, which is I think the thickness of the gold. It's got the markings on the back here. And I have it in this bag. This is how I store some of my jewelry if it's got kind of chains that are susceptible to tangling. It's also a nice way to ship it as well because people can just open this up and unhook it through and they don't have to deal with a big tangled mess of chain. Anyways, it's a little religious pendant of a couple praying hands. I find religious stuff like this tends to sell pretty well on eBay. And this I sold for $39.95 and I didn't do best offer. Full price. These are a couple of printer ink and paper packs for some specific Canon selfie CP printer. These I got at that camera auction back in January and uh, <clears throat> they're kind of slow and steady sellers. These are sold for $14.95 each. So basically $30 for two. This is another copper on wood print block. This one's really neat. It's a uh, shotgun shell. It says Winchester Leader number 12. And it's a little cross section that just kind of shows what's inside the shell. So this is probably one of the neatest ones that was in that lot of kind of old letterpress and printing stuff. This probably dates to around 1900, 1910. And um, this I originally put up for $39.95 and then I decided to have raised the price a little bit because I thought it was just kind of a rare piece. So I put it up for $49.95 and I did not do best offer. I figured if someone really wants this, they will pay full price for it. And they did. And I sold it for $49.95. It took about, it's been listed for about three weeks. Another pressed glass suncatcher sold. This one here is of an apple, red. It's very simple and it sold for $12.95. This is a matched pair of World War II era gold oak uh, shoulder lapel pins. They've got pin backs there. And these sold for $19.95. This was a tray lot of, that I got these in a tray lot of various military and other ephemera kind of pins and just been slowly but surely selling through them. This is an antique, very ornate bonbon server or sugar shaker spoon. It's by 1847 Rogers Brothers. It's silver plate, not solid silver. And it's just really ornate filigree pattern going on. It's called Berkshire. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, even though it wasn't solid silver, I priced it as if it was solid silver. And I put it up for $59.95. And it's been up for maybe six months or so. And somebody came in and bought it. It's going off to Japan. And I got this in a tray lot of a bunch of sterling silver flatware. Um, antique pieces and I, I do buy them from time to time if I can get them at a good price And so there was a whole tray lot. There was maybe 15 to 20 pieces on there and I'll usually sell the pieces individually for between 25 and 65 dollars sometimes even more if they're cake servers or fish serving utensils so I always do pretty well with that kind of stuff as long as I can get it for a decent price it's not a fast, fast seller. It usually takes a while for this kind of stuff to move. But if you take good pictures, describe it well, clean up the pieces so they look well, they will sell eventually. Tie clips and cufflinks. These always sell. It take a little time for the people to find them, but there seems to be a lot of people who collect tie clips and cufflinks. And so here's a pair. There's a pair of cufflinks in there and a tie clip. I don't think these had a brand on them. A lot of times they're Anson or Swag or uh, sorry Swank. <clears throat> these I think were just no name but they're horse-drawn carriage. Looks kind of like a antiqued pewter and I put these up for $12.95 which tends to be what you can get for tie clips of kind of this general nature. If you got something that's really really cool then you can get more for them but these are kind of old timey looking but uh anyway someone bought them they're going off to the uk sold some jewelry 
This came out of an auction box lot of jewelry, costume jewelry. There was a bracelet, necklace, and a couple earrings. And they're not perfect matches, but they all feature the same motif, which is a Nefertiti, an Egyptian goddess. And um, these sold for $52.95. This is a couple of chromolithograph prints from the late 1800s. They're by the Allman, Corpor or Allman Manufacturing Company. There's a little mark in the corner. I don't know if I can really get it to show up. <clears throat> and I put these up. I had four of them, actually, as a set listed online. I forget what price I had them up at, 50 or 60 And I got a best offer of 35 and the lady said she only wanted these two, and I could keep the others. So I said, great, accepted her offer. And these I got at an auction. It was just a large lot of paper and ephemera and other photos and things, which is a big stack, and uh, no one wanted it. I think it went for $5 at auction, and um, just selling through that pile now. This is a set of five wooden furniture pediments, probably from the Victorian age. They're really cool. This one's a really well done carved piece. This is my favorite one here. Just a little teeny, no bigger than a half dollar, just a cameo type figure. It's really well done pieces, very kind of one of a kind. These two are pretty common. <clears throat> this one's a bit more rough and gothic looking. <clears throat> Anyways, these sold for $40. And I got a bunch of these kind of things in a tray lot at an auction recently. Hardware, old hardware, other pediments and things like this, and uh, people are always looking for this kind of stuff. So I'm getting to the end of my pressed glass sun catchers. I bought just under 50 of these at auction. I paid $50, and I've been selling them all spring and summer for about $13 to $20 or so, and I've had a few pieces that were a little bit larger, which I sold for more, more like $35, $40. But these two here, anyway, sold overnight to the same buyer on Bonanza. And this one here is a cobalt blue um, so it's like a house and a tree there. This one sold for $15.95. And this other piece, also cobalt blue glass, has oak leaves and a little um, dogwood flower there in the middle. And so two, two items sold to the same buyer on Bonanza. This is a primitive style punch tin hanging chimney lantern. It's got a hanger up here. Open it up. With a candle or actually has a candle already candle goes inside and this is not a genuinely old piece it's just made to look in the style of a really old piece but this is also it it's a really well done reproduction it's not something that comes out of say you know uh jc penny so this was made by an american tinsmith uh, modern reproduction but it's a, a really nice piece uh, based upon an original style and I had this up for $50, and somebody paid full price. I just bought two of these, so I have another one I'm going to be listing. And I paid for the pair $5. So $5, one sold for $50, and I still have another one to sell. This is an old 19th century yellowware, smallish bowl with slip glaze. These I come across, and they're highly des desirable. Not in my area. People don't usually people often overlook these but when I throw them up online I can usually get a good price for them this one I put up for $80 and it sold on best offer of 60 and I got a bunch of these I think for no more than 10 or 15 dollars this one here has a little hairline crack here and it's also got another little crack here oh no it's the same that's the same one and then it's got this uh, glazed chip right here so it's not a perfect bowl but it's a real classic style it's genuinely old and uh, people buy these to put in their pantry or part as part of their country decor this orange box contains a hermes porcelain cigar ashtray and it's basically brand new i don't think this has ever been used there's no signs of wear on it whatsoever no chips it's in perfect flawless condition includes the original box even the original tissue paper and then a little sticker there and I picked this up at an auction 
it was I paid seventy dollars for it, which is more than I often will pay for a single item. But I thought there might be some decent money in it. Basically, a brand new item. It was probably something that somebody got as a wedding gift and they never used. They passed away and it went off to auction. So I got it for seventy dollars. I put it up for three ninety nine. Didn't see any interest in it. Lowered the price down. It might have been $4.99, I forget. These brand new from Hermes go for around $800. So I figured there might be some decent money in it. Had it up at $4.99 or $3.99 for a while. Finally lowered the price down to $2.99. It's been a bit of a slow start to the summer. And somebody came in and made an offer of $2.20 on it. So $70 to $2.20 took about six months to sell. Still a decent return. I'm happy. This is a single brass kind of fancy draw pull. Two posts and a movable pull thing there. And got these in a lot of other hardware related items. I've been selling them pretty regularly. Um, bought these at auction. And this one here sold for $12.95. This little brass spade metal here it says Sunday World School Gardens it's got a couple of globes and the looks like the Statue of Liberty there on the back it says Digest and Clust which is the metal maker it's a pretty popular metal maker from back in the turn of the century night in this metal is from I think 1920s I don't remember if I found out what this metal is in reference to maybe it's something to do with the World Expo or something that was around that period of time just a nice little metal nice relief pattern I sold this for $29.95 I don't think I had best offer on it I might have but the person did come in and pay full price sorry for my fingernails I've been doing bark mulch this week and it's been staining my hands this is a vintage salt glaze gray dialysis cobalt blue pitcher I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right it's a French um, made pitcher these are kind of collectible pieces this one's hand signed by the artist there's the what i was attempting to pronounce right down there it's got this nice grape leaves and grapes motif it's got a wonderful glazing it's in very good shape no chips or anything and this sold for 39.95 i had it up for best offer and the person came in asked a handful of questions about it and uh then paid full price